Okay, you moving? Roll. Look, the aristocrat. 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 Yes. United, also known as Williams. That's right. Do you love this game? You're a shuffle I man. One hundred percent love this game. This is Jason. He's a, he's one of our pot, part timers. Pot he dealers. Comes stumbling in here every so often, <laughs> and I do mean stumbling. Yeah. What happened to the hair in your head? Uh, doesn't want to be there. <sighs> Useless. But where's where's the puck? What happened to the hair in your head? Yeah. Well, <laughs> this is off on purpose. Where's the puck? Everyone use this. Ball. I'll kill him. <laughs> he's being funny. Oh boy. There it is. Ah, uh, he they packed it. Okay. Ta-da. Good. Anyway, here we go. Beautiful game. A new coin slot. Okay, now we are ready to start. It sounds blasting. Right? You can pick out the game you want. 100, 5, Roto, Strike 90, or Regulation. Let's try 800. Great action. It's along. We've done a lot of work on the machine. Touch up the back leg. This is one of uh, seven peg legs. We call these the peg leg series. The uh, peg legs. He started making these in 1977 with a computer in them. And the first seven of them were peg legs, and then the, the last seven were the modern looking ones. So there's really only 14 of these in existence. We have a brand new uh, instruction panel here, stainless steel made by uh, Pinball Resource now. They were out of production and now, thank goodness, he made them. I, I actually sent him the samples. So he copied the samples and made them. They have the beveled edges here. We have new instruction cards uh, in the back of the machine. We've done our usual work on the, uh, the electronics. A lot of people like to see. We have LEDs here, so it runs cooler. Logic board, we've put new sockets in here where the, lot, the program chips are. The new lithium battery, and we've also gone all around the edges with solder. We've done the mod in here, the staple mod, we call it. We, these are actually staples here that jump out the old resistors, so the switches are more sensitive. we also done the same up top. New capacitors on our power supply and the high voltage resistors. So I think the game is going to last for lots and lots of years without any service. Back here, Frank, come back here. We've put um, new capacitors on the soundboard. Now we've also done a lot of work on the reset board, the panel inside. You can see the motor spinning here and going in. We've actually taken that whole board out and uh, washed it. The top and bottom surface has got the screw on something. We have new two, two new fluorescent lights. And then we've put new rubbers up top where the pin swings up and bounces into it. So it's quieter. A lot of people skip that because it costs an extra two bucks for the installation. Ooh, two bucks. And of course the rollers are all done. Where do you get the used rubber from? <laughs> we got two new uh, rollers in the box. Use. Courtesy of Lowe's or Home Depot. They sell those wheels. Brand new wheels, so it's easy to roll, and two new casters up front. Uh, Chris, I think this is ready to go. Why don't you and Jason get this puppy loaded? Right. This is the one that's way. Oh, there's two panels that go here. We have the panels. They go in here, and they keep the uh, game much quieter. Good. Thank you, Frank. We're in the Yellow Pages under amusement. Ah, living is good, isn't it, folks? That's all for now. Good night.